John here. I used to have a gambling problem from age 18 to 20. These are three videos that I've already made about gambling. How I started, why you shouldn't gamble, and how to stop. They're all links down in the description. If you're watching this, you probably feel like your gambling is getting out of control, just like how mine was before I stopped gambling for good. I'm going to give you five practical ways to stop gambling that I bet you haven't tried yet. Just for some proof, here's a snapshot of my bank statement from when I was 19. There's a deposit for £20 to a gambling site. Then 5, 5, 100, 25, 10, 50, 220, 100, 50, 100, 200, and then £150 on lottery tickets in one go. I was able to stop gambling before any life-changing damage was done, and you can too. It's on the extreme side, but one thing you can try is giving your income to a trusted family member the moment it drops into your bank account. That way, you won't even have the option to throw it away on gambling. One of my subscribers actually tried this method after I suggested it to him in a comment on one of my other gambling videos. About a month later, he came back to that same comment thread and said that it had worked and that it basically got his life back on track. If you haven't told your family about your gambling problem yet, it's time to come clean. Just get it out of the way. They might be disappointed in you at first, but they'll definitely respect you for recognizing that you have a problem and for trying to get help to get your life back on track. Once you've given them your income, they should then give it back to you in exact amounts for your living expenses. You'll need to show them receipts for everything that you buy to prove that you've spent the money on what you were supposed to spend it on. Here's another snapshot from one of my bank statements from when I was younger. A deposit for £15, then 50 75 150 35 200 The deposits to the gambling site are all clustered together, so clearly I was losing bets, then depositing more money straight away to place more bets to try to make back the money that I'd already lost. One way to break any bad habit is to get the things that trigger you to do the habit out of sight and out of mind. Block all gambling websites, uninstall all your gambling apps, don't go near betting shops, don't go to live sports events, stop talking to your friends who also gamble, it's harsh but necessary. You need a drastic change to your daily routine to get rid of all the things that trigger you to think about gambling. Think about getting a new challenging job doing something completely different so that your mind has something new to be consumed by. Maybe redecorate your home, rearrange your furniture layout, maybe start a hobby that you've always thought would be cool to try. Do things you wouldn't normally do and go places where you wouldn't normally go. It's all all about making a new daily routine that doesn't have the triggers that make you think about gambling. Before I stopped gambling, it was getting increasingly problematic for me. I was a student with no income, but I had access to some money from my student loans. Here's another bank statement from around that time. A deposit to a gambling site for 400, then another 400, then one thousand. I'm pretty sure I was living on less than a thousand pounds a month at the time as a student, so clearly things were out of control at this point. After I graduated from university, I moved to a new city, lived in a new apartment, and I started my first business. At this point, I'd solved my gambling problem because I wasn't thinking about gambling at all, and my mind was just focused on growing my business. And I'd realized that gambling is a terrible way to make money. It's virtually impossible to become rich from gambling long term, and I'd realized that starting a business is the way to go to make money. Moving to a new city and having a new daily routine meant that gambling rarely crossed my mind, which was crucial in those early stages of stopping gambling. I could have easily slipped back into it. If you don't have much tying you down to where you live now, maybe be drastic. Make that change of environment by moving to a different state or a different country. After you move, you definitely won't have any of the environmental triggers that make you think about gambling. If your bank statements look anything like this, you're in the same position that I was. Just look at that. A £1,500 deposit when I really didn't have any money to spare. Then the next page of that same statement shows just how how bad things got. Every single transaction. A betting site. Another thing you can do to help you stop gambling is spend more time with family and friends. Be out and about as much as you can doing activities so that you don't even have time to think about gambling. I found that I only placed bets when I was alone and I didn't have anything else taking up my attention. So just fill your attention by always doing stuff with other people. And the last and probably best suggestion that I have for you to help you stop gambling for good is subscribe to the channel and then go check out my other three gambling videos which are linked down below in the description.